Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Andrew Holmes. I'm also known in some quarters as Kingfisher because uh, I'm a keen angler and I also love the bird Kingfisher. Um, right, today I'm going to be talking to you about cleaning records. Now I'm a hi-fi enthusiast and um, there's nothing worse I think than when you're uh, playing a record and you've got a lot of surface noise, pops and crackles and things which um, really do spoil the sound and the enjoyment that you can get from a uh, vinyl record replay. Um, so I've developed a system to clean the records professionally in my view but it's not using a professional machine. Um, I had this dilemma a few years ago where I thought, what do I do? Shall I go and buy a big record cleaning machine, probably cost £500,000 or whatever? Uh, if I do, where am I going to store it? Where, you know, the space is limited in most of our houses. I don't want it to, I don't have to go and lug it down the stairs, put it on the table, clean it all, mess about with it, take it all back and store it again. I want something convenient and simple that I can clean records effectively and also cheaply. Don't want to have to spend a lot of money doing it because it's I'd rather spend money on records. So I've come up with a system where I've bought a everyday cheap record cleaning system that you can get off eBay. They're made by different companies. Disco, Antistat is one. But there are others as well, which basically when you buy them, you get a, a plastic bath like this, which has got brushes fixed inside. Um, and you get a record clamp. You can put, put your record in, uh, in which enables you to uh, uh, revolve the record around whatever fluid you're putting in these chambers. You only get one of, one of these containers normally with a, with a purchase. So what I did is I bought another container, a spare one off eBay, didn't cost much money. You get this lovely little rack to dry your records afterwards. You may think, looking at this initially now, some of you will think, oh, that's a bit, you know, a bit basic. It's not going to clean records. Well, I'll tell you now, you can clean records absolutely perfectly with this system and at a fraction of the cost of these expensive machines. So... So what do you need to do it? Well, buy one of the kits. It costs you probably 60 or 70 quid, maybe. Something like that. I think the whole cost of this that I've got in front of me, including the fluid, by the way, which I'll tell you about in a minute, is about 130 quid. So once you've bought this, um, it's about 90 quid for the, for, the, for the equipment and about 30 or 40 quid for this expensive fluid. But this is magic stuff. When you buy the basic system in, you know, Disco Antistat or whatever it might be, you will get a fluid in the box to clean your records, but don't use it under any circumstances. Forget it. It's a complete and utter waste of time. It will ruin your records. It will probably ruin your stylus. If you have any pride in your records, do not use that fluid. What you need to do is you need to buy this fluid. It's called Lart du Somme. L'art du son, and it's made, it's, it's very French sounding, but it's made in Germany, funnily enough. But it's an extremely effective record cleaning solution. And it says on the jar that you can clean up to 400 LPs with this total solution. Now, obviously, for the purposes of what I do using it here, I'm using small amounts every time. So you need to take notice of what it says on the, on the bottle in terms of the proportion of cleaning solution that you put into the water. So what I've got here is I've got two baths here. One that I bought off eBay, one that I had with the kit. So the one that I've had with the kit, I fill that up 400 millilitres of ordinary tap water. You can use distilled water if you want to, but I use ordinary tap water for the cleaning job. So that 400 millilitres of water also will contain between 10 and 12 millilitres of the Lart du Somme cleaning solution. 
thoroughly mixed up. I use a, a plastic bottle here that I've got a mark on it for 400 millilitres. I put the solution in, put the tap water in, whiz it about a bit, pour it into the bath. I then get the second bath and what I do with that is I put in 400 millilitres of distilled water. That is purely for rinsing the record to make sure that no residues from tap water or cleaning solution are, is left on the actual record in the grooves of the record itself. Okay, so, so we've got the distilled water in here and we've got the cleaning solution in here. What we then need to do is we take the record, here's one that I've already taken out of the sleeve, you put the record, um, you, you, you take the uh, clamp, if I can get the clamp out, let me undo the clamp a second, I've just done it up for some stupid bloody reason. So you get the record, you get the clamp, you thread the spindle of the clamp through the hole in the record, you then screw the other side of the clamp onto the record, not too tight, just nice and reasonably firm but not too tight because it could, can be difficult to get it undone. So you take the record and you put it in between the brushes on the in the bath down to the bottom and now every time I turn the record the record is being brushed in the solution in the direction that I'm turning the record and these brushes brushes are I don't know what they're made of but they're quite fine but they're very very effective at digging out stuff that's in the grooves. So what I do is I tend to do this for about three or four minutes. I keep trying it different ways and you don't want to do it too fast. You need to do it nice and steady, you know, this sort of pace. And a dirty record I'll do for about three minutes. Um, now funnily enough, which are the most dirtiest records? Well, you'll be surprised. They're not the used records normally. They're brand new records. Brand new records are filthy. They have so much black and rubbish in them that it's unbelievable. So next time you buy a new record, make sure you clean it first before you even attempt to play it. Uh, and it'll be a much better quality record, sounding record at the end of the day, if you do what I say. So you do this for about two or three minutes in different directions, this way, that way. So once you've done the three minutes, or you've done the time that you can do it for longer if you want, if you've got a really dirty record, um, uh, one that's got a lot of surface noise or crackles and pops on, you know, you can do it for three or four or five minutes if you want to. I have done that in the past. But generally speaking, two or three minutes is enough. So once you've done that, you take it out of the cleaning solution, you let it drain over the bath. Once it's drained, you then take the record to a tap. Ordinary kitchen tap, bath tap, whatever tap you want. As long as it's got fresh water coming out of it, I don't care. So you take it to the tap and you swill it off under the tap. Now I'm going to go and do that and I'll come back. Right, I'm back. I've just spin and swirled this under the tap. Give it a good swill, both sides, spin it round. Make sure you get all the water and any fluid that's on there, get it all off. You then plunge it into the distilled water bath. That's this one and now you rinse it off in distilled water so once the distilled water has come into contact with all of the grooves that you're not going to get a residue. There are brushes in this bath as well so the brushes are you know sh uh, shifting out any sort of bits of possible water, tap water, whatever there might be. Once you, you don't need to do this for very long probably I don't know 30 seconds, a minute, the most, turn it a few both ways a few times, just so that it's completely and thoroughly rinsed. Once it's rinsed properly, you take it out of there, you drain off any excess water, you don't have to, I mean I tend to just shake it, it's only water, it's not going to damage your carpet or your floor. Shake off any excess dis distilled water, take the clamp off, like so and then just pop it into the into the um, stand and you need to leave that to dry 
overnight. In my view, do it in an evening, take my word for this, and leave it at least eight hours. Let it thoroughly dry in a room, preferably that has no dust swilling around in it, because if, if you do, you have gotta get dust sticking to the record. So choose a room where you rarely ever go in, this dust, pretty dust free if you can, and don't keep going in and out, just put all your records, line them all up, shut the door and forget about it overnight, let them thoroughly dry, and in the morning you'll come down to a lovely surprise. You'll have all of these records lined up in this rack, thoroughly clean, beautifully clean, not a unnecessary pop or crackle or ounce of surface noise anywhere to be heard. Some noises, pops and crackles you cannot get rid of. But if, if it's anything to do with residue or something that's been left in the groove, and by, believe me, new records are some of the worst, you'll, have, you'll be amazed that when you drain the water out of this cleaning bath, cleaning solution, once you finish your cleaning session, drain it into a jug, a, a, a see-through jug or, or a glass if you want to, drain it into there and have a look and see what you've got. God, you'll be absolutely amazed at the amount of debris that comes off even new records. So that's my system. It works really well for me. I, I think it's it's as good as you can get. I don't think there's a better way of cleaning a record. You can go and spend a thousand pounds if you want or even more on some fancy machine. It won't be any better than this in my view. So so that's it. And then once, you've, uh, once the records have dried, make sure you pop your record into a nice anti-static sleeve, like so, before you put it into the actual album cover. So that's my system. I hope it's useful to you. I hope you find it interesting. As I say, for about 130 quid, you can set yourself up with this fluid, enough to do 400 LPs, um, all of the what you see here. Um, and it's quite therapeutic. I enjoy cleaning records. I put some music on my record player and I do a bit of cleaning. Put them to dry, I find it quite satisfying. You need to clean records quite regularly. I would suggest that most of your records, if you play them a lot, you probably need to, to clean them at least once a year, I'd say. Maybe even more than that. Just depends on how you treat your records and how careful you are with them. And certainly, as I said, if you buy uh, new records or used records before you play them don't be tempted to put them on the record deck and blow clean them first let them dry overnight and then you'll be able to assess what you've purchased and whether it's of a high quality or not and unfortunately not all records are but that's the that's the beast okay anyway hope you've enjoyed that thanks for tuning in and i'll have another video in the future very soon because I'm having some new speakers so I'll talk you through my system when they're being delivered. Okay, okay, ciao.